put in the cage. Any camera as well.
Now we hear a lot from time to time about the good old days, but I often wonder how good were they really. I honestly believe that these are the good old days, and they're passing us by and some of us don't recognize that. But the fruits of the endeavors of our forefathers have contributed handsomely to these good old days that we are now enjoying. I'm personally delighted to be associated with the people of Wingat in their celebrations. I have many good memories of Wingat many years ago. And the quick steps and the old time waltzes in Shreyas Hall to the tunes played by people like the Riverside Jazz Band bring back many happy memories to me. And places like the Moor Cross and Tullahawk, I wouldn't go astray in those places either sometimes. <laughs> but to get back to the co op movement, I want to pay a special tribute to the people who were charged with the responsibility of running Wine Gap when they showed the foresight to merge their identity with the bigger unit so that the full gallon of milk could be processed. We all know that they have realized that small units would not give us the dairy industry in Ireland that we need and that we have today thanks to the generosity and the foresight of those people of leadership who saw fit to submerge themselves for the common good. In years gone by, as we all know, the farmer took his milk to the creamery, but he brought home all the skin and he just got paid for the butter fat. But it is interesting to realize that when Pat O'Neill paid the pound a gallon towards last month, 60p was for the skin and 40p was for the fat. So it proves the point that had we not advanced and advanced in our thinking, then I think that we wouldn't have the dairy industry we have today and we wouldn't have the prosperity on the farms that we have today. I'd like to, like to say thanks to the people of Wingap for all the tremendous support they've given to Alan Moore in the last 20 years. I'd like to thank them for it and I'd like to appeal to them to continue it. And I think it would be wrong addressing a Wingap community without referring to another asset that Wingap gave to Alan Moore. One of your sons, Jeff Maher, is now our financial controller. I think Wingat can be proud of him because we in Avonmore are proud of him. So proud that we give him an increase in salary lately. <laughs> he, he used to be on 20 pounds a week and now he's on 25. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to say congratulations for a hundred years of success and every success in the future for the next hundred years. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, John. They were very nice words. I wonder if anybody see John around the Moe Cross years <laughs> ago. <laughs> I call on Mr. Pat O'Neill, Group Managing Director of Avon Roar, please. Thank you, Chairman. Chairman Powell, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, lads from Ross Birkin didn't get any further uh, than Hugh Lowe or one of that. Uh, for some reason, so we didn't leave any, any marks uh, there. Um, I'm, I'm delighted to be here tonight to, uh, to join in your celebration and to acknowledge what has been done uh, in the parish of Wanga and in the, in the surrounding parishes to, be, to create a dairy industry which everybody who's here tonight uh, can be proud of. Uh, without what, the work that was done here, there wouldn't be an Adam Moore. There wouldn't be the evident prosperity which you can see around tonight, uh, happily and gladly see around tonight. It's, it's something that, that is very easily put in a modern day context uh, and it's forgotten how it all started and why it's here. And it's here because of what the people did 100 years ago uh, to create the basis of the dairy industry. 
and obviously because we're having the centenary of Wine Gap tonight, uh, the first one uh, in the county, obviously uh, your trade was placed here uh, by your by your forefathers, and, and, and they are the people uh, for whom we can thank uh, to have uh, the Alamo we have today. And uh, I think that's, that's very easily forgotten. A lot of a lot of tributes are. are uh, are often paid to to probably use to describe as blowing and, and other other uh, people who, who have arrived on the scene over the years. Uh, and I suppose what, what encourages us to go on uh, is that we have the security of a solid base. Uh, we were always told uh, going to school that the uh, castle didn't stand, didn't last. Uh, obviously that that wasn't the case now and we're uh, in in cases like Wanga on very solid foundations. And uh, I was talking to the chairman and secretary uh, earlier uh, about the record of, of developments uh, in, in the Greenway and the, what the main books said. And uh, I've no doubt we'll hear a little bit about that uh, later on. But uh, main books tell their own stories and, and sometimes uh, they can be misinterpreted as well as we find some of the even more relevant books like the, like the Gospel.
uh, to hope that uh, the, the results which, which have been delivered by Wanga, both for the people participating in the uh, creamery and, and for the Avonmore group, uh, will continue and, and to wish you well in all your endeavours in the future. Thanks very much, Chairman. Thank you very much, Pat. That's a nice few words you had, fellas. I call on Mr. Jerry O'Connor, our area manager now, please. Mr. Chairman, Madam Tall, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to be associated here with this centenary occasion tonight. And many wonderful tributes have been paid to Wind Up Creamery. And I would like to endorse all that has been said already. In 1987, when I was appointed as early manager to cover Wind Up Creamery, I was a little bit nervous, uh, just like I am here tonight. <laughs> because I knew Wind Up Creamery was a very prosperous and uh, profitable branch. And uh, I also heard that the farmers were very tough negotiators. But that was a very uh, difficult combination to satisfy and maintain. But um, my fears were quickly laid in the Wanker Committee that dispatched an invite to Castle Hill uh, to inform me that I was very welcome to Wanker and that we would have no problem in working together. And of course, that invite who is fairly near me here tonight was very tactful and when he saw that he had eased my mind, he quickly proceeded to tell me how proud they were of the branch and what they expected of the branch. And it's that kind of pride and expectation and uh, foresight, I think, that has helped uh, Weingap clearly to prosper during the last 100 years. Weingap has had to adapt to many changes down to the years. And in 1987, Esther Purcell was appointed branch manager, the first female branch manager in Weingap. So there was no sexual discri discrimination in Weingap either. Esther herself had a great philosophy about life. And when the going gets rough and farmers are shouting and barring her, she would often make a comment to me, but sure, if we suffer enough in this life, we want us to suffer the next. <laughs> so, so I, I think it's with that philosophy that Esther as branch manager and Harry Purcell and Jimmy Hart Storman uh, diligently and efficiently carry out their duties. Now, as I said, Wingap has had to adapt to many changes down to the years. And in the six years that I've been associated with Wingap Creamery, we've had a number of difficult uh, issues to address due to the many changes that are taking place out there. And I'm sure <coughs> there's many more to come. But I've always received the utmost uh, cooperation from the staff and the local area advisory committee. And a great support and light has been shown to me by the customers. And with that kind of a combination, I think Wingap Creamery is very well geared to face the next 100 years. Wingap Creamery is still a very profitable branch today. And it's serving its customers and shareholders. And I think its founding members would be justly proud of it. So all that's left for me now to do is to thank the organising committee for the wonderful occasion here tonight. And to thank this in a special way, Eddie Kelly, who combined the book and did a wonderful job of it, which, by the way, will be launched later on. And uh, just to wish you, by, by no means last, uh, very best here tonight. And thanks for coming out and supporting the occasion. And I would like to just uh, congratulate Wayne on the last 100 years and wish him the best for the next 100 years. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Jerry. Our next speaker will be Mr. Edward Kelly. He's a retired schoolmaster in Wanga. We have a centenary booklet, very important to record the story of Wanga Creamery. We ask Mr. Edward Kelly to help us. Please come forward, Eddie. Mr. Chairman, and Reverend Father, and my friends, 
I was very appreciative to be asked to script write the story of Windegap Creamery and the Windegap Creamery community. I knew two months ago when I saw 100 years of minute books arriving in my gate on a pallet on a forklift that I wouldn't feel the winter passing. <laughs> I have never delivered a one gallon of milk to Wangap Creamery. And one local philosopher reflecting on this, he said to me when I was going about my job, you're the perfect person to write the story because you know nothing about it. <laughs> and I'm not too upset by his choice of words because I think what he meant was I had the advantage of taking, of observing and writing the story from a detached position. Reading through the records, one of the first things I noticed was that the schoolmaster, Mr. Dial, was present and very involved at the first meeting in the unlit classroom of Wine Gap 100 years ago. So there was a certain degree of pathos in the fact that there was another of them here at the rostrum uh, at this lovely celebration. We're used to great celebrations in Kilkenny, as they know well in Tipperary. <laughs> preceded by a long haul. Winners celebrating always speak about the road they travelled, the frustrations they met and the difficulties they met. Real winners are not deterred in such situations. They match those problems with grit and determination and plenty sweat and the celebration follows. The joy of course is in knowing that you, in the face of advers adversity, uh, you rose to the challenge. And this is what we are about tonight. And uh, this is the joy that we are celebrating. We pay tribute to four generations of achievement and four generations of outstanding people. Many of them are here tonight and many of them have passed along. A great team of suppliers and farm workers and creamery staff and committee people and friends and supporters. We pay a special tribute to the first generation that came together in the old schoolroom 100 years ago. They came, many of them, in Ashton Carras, on grit roads, many of them walking, to listen to two visitors from Dublin talking about a new concept, cooperative cooperation or teamwork so that they could lift themselves above the poverty line. The listeners knew about teamwork, they were good at it, but it usually involved a football. Teamwork for the production and the marketing of butter was a new concept, but being the people that they were, they listened, they made a pragmatic decision and that's where our story began. The story is not just about the creamery, it's about the community that put the creamery there and that kept it there. And I found the writing of the script a, a learning experience. They were formidable people that lived extraordinary lives of service and of personal fulfillment in times that were impoverished and very restricted. I hope in the booklet that I have done justice to them. And in conclusion, we should remember, and it has been repeated here, that the White Gap Creamery has played its teamwork in the Premier Division for the past 20 years as part of Evan Moore. This was 
our own decision for our own protection in a changing market case. The ever more enterprise now stretches from the Rockies to the Carpathians, but it has a human face, and that's because the executives there know the human story that went into the first 100 years. They have demonstrated that awareness by attending here tonight and by joining in our celebration with us. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the booklet. I, let me, I hear people calling it a book. Don't be disappointed. It's a mere 70 pages. Uh, but yes, there are 15, 16,000 words in it. Uh, I hope it does justice uh, to the people that it describes. Thank you very much. On behalf of the Wine Gap Creamery, I would like to present this gift to Mr. Edward Kelly in appreciation and thanks for all his help in putting the booklet together. <laughs>
through the, the t- around through the table there now, and they're very good value at three pounds, and you have the whole history of one gap family. So I think everybody here should get a booklet that's begun to look back on the history of one gap for the, the last 200 years. Thank you very much.
sound as it's been recorded by the man from Wingap, as he's known as his name, Patty Santo, on my mind.
Magic to Gambit. Magic to Gambit. Magic to Gambit.
very much, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, your next dance is coming right up. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for now. Your next dance is coming straight up.